Hello, welcome to ERP SAP team. Today we are going to uh, analyze another vlog of ERP SAP team. How to do energy analysis in any business areas. Okay. This tutorial is for educational purpose, understanding purpose, and knowledge sharing purpose. Okay. The data is showing here is for just understanding and knowledge sharing purpose. <coughs> By watching this. SAP tutorial you can analyze your own data at your uh, your business areas okay because energy analysis is very important for example we have so many sites and I want to get the details of the all the sites that uh, how much amount of the electricity bill uh, sent by distribution department okay and how can we track the how can we minimize our electricity consumption okay in particular location okay so in sap there is a provision because in sap we have to fill the electricity bill month wise month or as uh, sent by a distribution company for the subsequent payment okay once we fill electricity bill then uh, system is uh, removing all plug from the competing authority and is sent for the payment okay how can we do this we have a customized transaction code we have a customized transaction code zfa 030 underscore er <coughs> in which we have to fill the business area code company code hosting period consumer number okay and you will get all the data as per the specific posting period okay <coughs> see how can we do these things we are going to execute the transaction code ZFI 030 underscore ER. Okay. Electricity expense report. Here you need to fill the company code. Here you need to fill the business area. <coughs> Here you need to fill the hosting period. And <coughs> in the field of the consumer number, you can fill all the consumer number from the drop down sites or you can fill the star to get all the data. Of the consumer number in this particular business area 3004 okay <clears throat> now it's time to execute the report system will issue all the data report as per posting parameters 1st April 2019 to 30 April 2019 okay here you will get all the data see we have a company code, we have a business area, we have a consumer number, we have a meter number, vendor code, uh, city, year, posting date, bill date, due date, net amount, bill number, reading from, reading to, units of measurement, unit consumption, meter constant, bill payment date, clearing document date, all the parameters is available here, okay? <clears throat> and you can, you can easily export this data in uh, Excel parameters, okay? In a spreadsheet, you can specify the data. You can save this data in the your Excel field and get analyze. Once you save the data in uh, .mstml, you again need to save the data in .xls format. See, in company code, in business area, in consumption number, meter generated document number, vendor, city, fiscal year, posting date, bill date, due date, <coughs> net amount, reading from, reading to, unit of the measurement, and units consumes, okay, tax amount, net amount, surcharge amount, okay and uh, payment clearing document in which document there is a payment clearing document generated it means the payment has to pay to electricity department once payment clearing document is not generated then it means that 
uh, payment is still due for the pending. Okay. <clears throat> See, once you post the electricity bill in the system, one line document will generate. One line document will generate, and uh, after the submission of the workflow of this one line document, after proper verification of this one line document, your competent authority will remove the R block for the payment of this particular document okay and this is the payment clearing document once the payment is paid <coughs> to electricity department the system will generate this report okay okay <coughs> see click on the date select all click on the data short by uh, payment clearing document sort by values z to a <coughs> see we have shortened the uh, document on the basis of the payment clearing document. These are all the document against which the actual payment has been paid to the electricity department. See, all the data is the blank. So for the those uh, data is blank, the payment has not been done. For which the ones in the payment clearing co column, 170000 uh, documents are there, these electricity bill has been reversed due to any reason this electricity bill has been reversed due to any reason okay so accordingly you can analyze this data okay so this is very uh, interesting uh, uh, transaction code for analysis of uh, the record of the electricity bill payment electricity bill posting electricity bill payment analysis okay the same thing you can verify from your uh, general laser account that is 5020302 in fs10n okay because in fs10n 5020302 is your uh, electricity head of the payment and you can analyze from the same okay see uh, for all those document the payments are blank then uh, still the payment is not paid to uh, vendor okay and in present case the vendor is electricity department <coughs> so payment clearing document paid if the payment clearing doc and the payment clearing document if the payment has been paid then document start from 2000 if not paid then in payment clearing document column blank okay if in any case the concern accounts department has reversal the, of the electricity bill payment the documents start from 1700 these things you need to identify paid in the payment clearing document two triple zero documents not paid blank <coughs> reversal 1700 okay so these things you need to identify in respect of your uh, electricity consumer number document okay if you have any query then please cons contact to your uh, concern accounts officer regarding the same and or you can uh, also execute this trans transaction code to analyze these details for your uh, in your business area okay <clears throat> if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section okay and uh, hope you enjoy this learning session okay happy learning i repeat again this tutorial we have made for just educational and knowledge sharing purpose okay <clears throat> so please share this knowledge sharing session to your friends and colleagues for more understanding of sap basics knowledge okay thank you have a good day <clears throat>